Okay guys, it's James here, DCC Train Automation. Um, here's a, let's call it part one of uh, DR4088 feedback modules from DigiKeys. Um, this is the LocoNet version. Um, I wanna go through addressing the module. Um, the English maybe is a little misleading in the instructions. Um, we have been having fun with this and sadly, even the information I thought I'd understood um, wasn't quite correct and I want to explain why um, and to show you how to get the best out of it. So we've got our DR5000 here, we have um, the, the LocoNet module, um, let's just open it up a minute. Uh, so here's the instructions. Okay, here's the module. Uh, okay, so you have LocoNet inputs and outputs, SA88 in, and then SA88 on to more SA88 modules if, if you so um, want to use SA88 after LocoNet. Let's just talk about the LocoNet one. Um, here we have a program button. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, it's made up of two modules of eight so you have one to eight this side and nine to sixteen the other side the feeds for them are here so there's two feeds okay so you have one wire out of here back in to the track power and then the other output would go to your common side of the rail not the feedback side the feedback side then gets fed by one of the eight or sixteen one of the 16 outputs to that section you want to monitor okay right let's look at the programming of this unit I've just got to uh, get a low connect cable and um, so we'll just plug that in okay so we've plugged in the low connect cable so it comes out of low connect T not low connect B low connect B is for the boosters okay so low connect T you plug in the cable and there's a green light flashing okay um, I'm just going to turn the power off on the DR5000. Okay, so the, the, the track power is off. The module's plugged in, the track power is off. The module is set at the moment to the default settings of 1 to 16. Now, we can actually test that in the DR5000 configuration thing here. So, this is the um, LocoNet properties. Okay, so this is looking at LocoNet. It's looking at the feedback. Now when I turn the track power on, see it scans, and it's scanning those first 16. So the module, they're all red, is, is at present set to one to 16, okay? Now there's no ticks in any of these boxes because we haven't got any of the outputs connected to the track, so there's nothing um, being monitored at present. If there was a loco on the track, one of these would light up, okay? But we're interested in programming this module. So, let's just use this as an example. This module, I want to start at output 107, okay? 107. So there is 16 feedbacks on this one module, okay? So that would mean it would go 107 to 122, okay? So we know the, the first address we need to use. Um, now, let's just take this as it's one LocoNet module. So there's 16 outputs. We need to tell this unit the address it starts from 107 and it has only 16 outputs this module okay that is what we want to do so the way we do it is like this and this is where I was getting a little confused and some others were probably as well um, so what we want to do is is this we need to get up the uh, Close the feedback margin and let's get up to the control uh, and accessories. 
we need to go to board. So we've got address 107. Going straight past it. There we go. So 107. Okay. So if we want to start addressing 107, we just need to tell it that. So what we do is we press the light, the green light now, the press of the program button. So we press that once, the green light then flashes faster. We now send it that first address. Okay, I sent that command and you saw it being sent over here. The, the light still flashes faster again. But we now need to tell it it has only 16 outputs. This is only for the LocoNet modules, okay? So now we go to this screen, 16. So now we fire 16, okay? So now this module knows it is 107 to 122, but there's only 16 outputs for this module. Okay, so now we have um, just a piece of track, I've just connected it up, so uh, you've got the feed to the feedback module out of the track power, which goes into C, okay? And then out of the fourth output on the feedback module, that's the one that goes to the, the feedback rail, and then the green's the return, which then goes back to the, the central unit, okay? So this is, this is how you would wire it up, okay? I've just done this quickly, just to show you guys. Um, so again, if we look at our screen and um, there's no track power on on the dr5000 so as i turn it on it then scans for the low connect devices there we go and as you can see look oh, i was wrong i put it in the fifth output <laughs> um yeah we have so it's now the fifth output put which is address feedback address should tell us when you put a mouse over it no, it doesn't so 106, 107, 108, 109. So the feedback 109 is now occupied. Okay, so the loco is on, on, the, on the track, the lights are on, it's occupied. If I take the loco off, the X goes off, put it back on, and it, it goes on. Now the interesting thing is, if we turn the track power off, obviously it isn't monitoring now. When I turn it on again, if you watch, it, it, it monitors all the way down, and then this dark blue highlights the last output of the feedback module. Now, there is only one feedback module connected, so there should only be, it should always end at the last output of the feedback module that you have programmed. If this is scanning further down, so if it scans down to, down here somewhere, um, you have configured the, the module incorrectly. It's not given the right information. Now if this is happening, you could also then have modules overlapping with each other. If this is the case, and they are overlapping, on the startup, it won't see the locos because it's checking one section is occupied and then another module could have the same address also it looking for and it isn't occupied. So this is very important, you must program these correctly. I know this has been a bit long winded and I hope it makes sense. Um, any questions, do call us at DCC Train Automation. Um, so that is LocoNet feedback module DR4088LN. Um, they are really good, work really well. Um, and as you can see, you know that's how you program it.